Despite their diminutive size, sandlings fly thousands of miles to spend the winter on the Solent coast, all the way from the Siberian Arctic and Greenland. Individual sandlings have been known to make annual round trips of nearly 20,000 miles between their breeding and wintering grounds. Sandlings are most easily recognised by their behaviour, scampering about on the sand rather than walking and probing in the mud. They feed in small flocks at the water's edge, sprinting backwards and forwards after the waves, looking for marine crustaceans, fish and even jellyfish to eat. In the winter, they're pale grey with a bright white belly and a short straight black bill. Like some other wading birds, sandalings only have three toes rather than the usual four. Their missing hind toe adds to their distinctive speedy running action, making them look even more like a clockwork toy. Sandalings are similar in size and shape to another small wading bird, the dunlin, and they are often seen sharing the same habitat. The easiest way to tell them apart is by observing their colouring and behaviour. Dunlins have pale brownish grey upper parts and white underparts. If you look closely through binoculars or a telescope, you may spot their subtle light grey breastband. Sandlings, on the other hand, have snowy white underparts and a silvery back. One of the bird aware rangers says sandlings look like they've just been freshly laundered in comparison with Dunlin's rather more smudgy appearance. Another point to look out for is that Dunlin's bills are a little longer and more hooked than the sandling's short straight bill. And while sandlings scamper along the water's edge, you'll find Dunlin's foraging energetically on mudflats at low tide. Sandalings are relatively common to the Solent, but not in terrifically large numbers, as there aren't that many in the UK. They are amber listed for conservation in the UK, and they are a qualifying feature for the Chichester and Langston Harbour Special Protection Area. That means when the site was designated, a nationally significant number used these coastlines in the winter.